Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the winner's game from BSL Season 13, or sorry, BSL Season 13, Round of 32, Group D. What a mouthful. Upper right-hand corner, we have Exit starting as the White Terran. That is the winner from last season of Chobo League. He had some struggles, honestly, in his previous match. Bottom left-hand corner. Although he still won it. it was it, I, That might be the highlight game, actually, of this entire season. We'll have to see. Still pulled it out with the dropship at the end. Bottom left in corner, we have Pepper, a.k.a. Little Chava, a.k.a. Keen. And I'm going to stick with Keen uh, just because I think out in the community, on Discord, places, uh, Keen is known as Keen. Check out Keen. I'm glad he's participating in this season of BSL. Pretty strong uh, American Zerg. I think around the 1900 area. I'd have to double check that. Uh, doesn't stream a ton as far as I've seen, but I might just be missing his stream information. He's going to be the Teal Zerg, bottom left-hand corner. He's scouting bottom right first. This is going to be on Good Night, which, again, was the winner. I believe it was the winner of the New Worlds map contest. Man, I feel like I've got all sorts of announcements with this one. Again, with the natural expansion. I'm, I'm almost revealing this out of habit at this stage of things. It's like, ah, but standard map. I'm a little concerned with Exit's play last match. Specifically because it looked like what he was attempting to do was go that early engineering bay, get plus one weapons uh, style of play. However, it looked like he lacked a bit of the macro of just pumping out marines constantly and getting additional barracks up when he needed to, uh, to really make that build hum. Because there is kind of that window. Basically, you need to be on top of it and have a lot of marines and have really good turret placement to hit, the, to engage... I should say, those mutalisks around that 7.30 uh, minute mark. And that's, or 6.30, 7.30. Is that right? Yeah. Eight mutalisks incoming at that time period. 6.30 is, I think, the uh, official. I guess we'll see if Keen goes for two hatch mutalisks and will be able to say for certain. I'm pretty sure that's right, but my brain's, you know what it's like these days. I'm like, 6.30 is what sounds right. 7.30, I'm like, is that? Anyway, looks like Keen is going to scout upper left-hand corner with that drone first. I'm almost positive it's the 6.30 minute mark, but brain farting. Half the second, doesn't matter. Extractor going up. Spawning pool on the way. I believe this was a 12 hatch opener. Looks like that SCV is going to be able to wander up. In fact, see it. And exit. Playing very risky. Actually opting to go for... Well, he went racks, but before scouting, he went ahead and dropped that command center. Which is a somewhat risky play. If he ended up going against... Overpool, nine pool. Uh, he would have needed to do at least something to deal with initial zerglings. It looks like, in the meantime, Keen, let's see if he even builds a zergling. Right now he has a single larvae. He's actually skipping the zerglings, going straight to layer to try to cut out precious seconds here. He does have that second hatchery up. Overlord's making its way to that upper right hand corner. It looks like that drone's going to return to home base off after that marine went ahead and pushed it back. So from this stage forward, ooh, refinery going down. Are we going to see a mech build? Usually this is indicative of a faster mech style of play, potentially. Uh, second Marine being produced. It looks like no indications at a bunker just of yet. This SCV is going to be able to scout. Here's one big strength of Exit. It's his ability to react to his opponent. Unfortunately, oftentimes what that means is if uh, sometimes he will just not have build orders uh, planned out. And so if his opponent can play sharp to those build order advantages, it can end up being a dangerous situation. Lair on the way. Engineering Bay going down, so it looks like this is, in fact, going to be that Engineering Bay first build once again. But again, we'll have to keep an eye on the Marine count as this continues. Engineering Bay about halfway finished, and that's to get that early weapons won. Hydralustan actually plopping down instead. So, Lair is... So, is this going to be a two-hatch Lurker play? Maybe a millimeter drop play? Initially, it looked like something was uh, potentially a bunker being built on the front. That's being canceled. Two Zerglings are making their way up there. And we are, in fact, seeing Lurker Tech being upgraded. So it looks like Keen is thinking about going all-in Lurkers to end this quickly versus Exit. Exit, upgrading that weapons one, getting the Academy to follow. And right now, Exit is in the dark. He doesn't know what's coming. Several Zerglings being built. Let's see if he can peek forward. If he can peek forward and see the number of Zerglings on the front, that could be a big indication. Here's the problem with going this engineering bay build is oftentimes because you have smaller amounts of Marines, that's oftentimes why you want a front door seal, you want a bunker to deal with this. The Zerglings actually pushing through. This actually might open up the back door for the rest of the Zerglings. That does in fact open up the back door. Initially, 
Looked like for a second Keen was thinking about it. He backed off, thought better of it. But this is going to be a skeleton crew of Marines without medic support. These Zerglings might be able to get it done alone. Pushing through, getting the surround. SCV's nearby, pulling off the line, but the Marine, uh, Marine's not quite able to scoot into the protective grouping. The SCV's immediately flooding out to try to block that ramp. A Marine is pulling up to try to do some additional defense, but right now, without the bunker support, without any sort of front door seal, Keen capitalizing on the smaller amount of Marines. It looks like this time Exit has managed to drop additional barracks. A fire bat is out, but here's the thing. Lurker Tech is finished. There's the Lurker's morphing. If they can get into that natural expansion, it's going to be very difficult for Exit to get back into this match. A nice fire bat out to deal with the Zerglings on the ramp. But will Exit be able to reclaim his natural expansion? Things very much working in Keen's favor currently. But keep in mind, Keen needs to win this game rapidly because he's still sitting on 17 drones. A bunker trying to be plopped on the low ground. Firebat stimming and pushing forward. There's no medic, though. Firebat getting surrounded. The Zerglings... Starting to push up, one Marine dodging to the south. This Marine trying to get to the south, but dying. And now the Lurker is here to eliminate this bunker. And there's GG from Exit upon seeing the Lurkers entering. So a quick game. Aggressive play from Keen to advance to the round of 16. And I think that was very... I, I, I like Keen's play there. Very intelligent. I think he knew, perhaps had an idea of what Exit did the previous match. Kind of played against the meta. And I think also seeing that front door, seeing that there's no seal there, seeing that there was no bunker there, I think this was a, a solid decision on his part to go for the more aggressive opening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will move on to the losers match to see who plays exit in the final round. Thanks for listening.